welcome to Chithyamma's channel. Today we are going to make spicy chicken Sri Lankan curry in the instant pot. It is quick and very easy. For this we need chicken thigh with bone, onions, garlic and ginger paste, tomatoes, clove, lemon or lime, salt, turmeric, chili powder, fennel seeds, fennel seeds powder, mustard seeds, curry leaves and some hot water. I got about one and a half pounds of chicken thigh with bone. Cut each thigh into three to four pieces. To this chicken we are going to add half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon salt, two tablespoon crushed garlic or garlic paste, half tablespoon crushed ginger, two tablespoon chili powder. Now we are going to mix all well. I like to use little crushed fennel seeds. This gives a nice flavor to the chicken. Now let's see the setting on the instant pot. I'm using the instant pot mini here. Select the saute mode. Set timer to 10 minutes. Now we are going to add 1 tablespoon oil and let the oil get heated a little bit. Add 1 teaspoon mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon crushed fennel seeds, 1 cup diced onions and saute it for about 2 minutes. Add 1 8 teaspoon clove powder, 8 to 10 curry leaves, 1 cup chopped tomatoes, 1 Now we are going to add the marinated chicken to this. Add 1 cup hot water. And close the lid. Make sure the quick release button is in seal position. Little popped up. And select pressure cook on high for 4 minutes. This chicken curry you can eat with anything, rice, roti or even by itself. After 4 minutes it's cooked, it will take about 12 to 13 minutes for the natural pressure release. I'm going to leave it but if you want after 10 minutes you can do a quick release. The valve is down. Now it's safe to open. Let's open the lid. The chicken is well done. Now let me check the salt. I'm going to add quarter teaspoon salt. One teaspoon fennel seeds powder. 2 teaspoon lemon juice or lime juice and mix it. That's all. It's quick and very easy. Now let me give you some. You can try it. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe to Chithi Amma. See you on the next update.